God bless you. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our sweet Lord. He's so sweet. He's so special. What you have done for us. And you love us in everlasting love again again. I have a word from the Lord. It's not an easy one. And I want to share it with you very short if you are a believer or not a believer it's uh i want to touch this in the matter that you understand this with wisdom that you are we want that it's always very um, important that w w be kind for people please share this message so others get blessed with more understanding of wisdom and how to behave and walk in christ by understanding so we can understand the will of god in seasons in conversations with other people we can discern who is the other person and help us be kind be loving each and each other so we walk in the same food stamp as Christ and we can receive sometimes pain from other people but don't fight and hurt them with the same things that also did to us I want to speak about and first and I use in other script in other teaching also but I want to give it a new fuel point so we have to know we have to be careful what we say to each and each other but also for um, every Christian and as uh, uh, received by uh, Jesus his spirit if you are not uh, investing your, um, your your relationship then it's the question where it teaches in your life that's uh, I don't want to point this out but there must be sight by the Christian and the other teaching I teach about you are Christ you are um, reborn in true Christ and then you have sight or not and I want and I teach about this but you if you are a reborn Christian and you invest in your in your in your um, your relationship with the uh, with Holy Spirit to Jesus in Jesus then you must be a sight and you if you are a baby then you have to grow and you get discernment by your 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 teaching yourself and your sharpen yourself by the word and so you get understanding by sharpening yourself and um, testing yourself by the word of God okay that's not my point but I want to make a balance that you not everybody can discern who is the person for you listen if you are it's very important you never know who you meet and sometimes you meet a very per um, 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 important person and if you don't uh, discern what he carries for you then you are trouble and if and that's my teaching now is if this person um and every we have to be kind to everyone so we are testifying that the lord is is in and uh, the lord is good and the lord love us and the god um is 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 uh, take care of of the whole world okay um if you meet somebody and you're not a christian and i take effort i want to start from this few few, few point that you are not christian and you meet somebody uh, that is a christian then you have to be aware that um if you reject this person then you reject not only flesh and blood but also he is the host from and from the uh, the spirit of god and if you hurt this person you are in trouble why god uh love his children and uh he wants is an avenger and you he, he he get be angry on you if you don't be care and don't make it well with him okay listen uh, i want to use a look and that was also i wanted to use in the and uh, maybe in the title i don't know <laughs> He that heareth you, heareth me, said Jesus. And he that despise you, despise me, said Jesus. That talks about what I, I give already in balance. It talks about a Christian who is investing in his uh, relationship with Christ. If you don't invest in your relationship, then it's the question, where is Christ? And there is, is there any, any Christ in your life anymore? 
Uh, Simpson lived a life without the Lord, and somehow he, the Spirit leaves him. He did. He didn't know. Okay. Um, and if you despise me, say Jesus, you despite me that sent me. Does the Father? Okay. And then want uh, pointing something out is not so um, easy to understand or to to receive maybe, but it's very good for our understanding that he that believes on him is not condemned. If you believed in Jesus, you are not condemned. But he that believed not, believed not, is condemned already. You by your unbelief, you are condemned. That's a very key to know because he that not believe in the name of the Holy because the son of God the Jesus you don't believe in in, in, in what you have done that's the that's that's um, lined up that you don't believe I can maybe there isn't thought by an unbeliever I if I do good I can't go to heaven no you don't you despise Jesus why you think by yourself I can do right then Jesus died for nothing that is one of the the thoughts maybe a lot of people can have and verse 19 is uh, John 3 verse 19 I'm, I'm reading and this the combination that the light is come into the world and my and men love darkness rather than light that's 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 that is the point now because their deeds were evil for everyone that do evil evil hate the light that is it's it's there's no doubt about it this is the system if you do uh, it is very hard to come uh, somehow to Christ. Why you are there's showing what is your what your deeds are not good, and um, and if you if you are your heart is willing to repent, then then you can receive. For everyone that do evil hated the light, neither come to the light, lest his deeds so be reproved, but. He that do truth comes to the light, that is he deeds, that his deeds may be made manifest that there are are wrought in God. Yes, now that is very uh, that you what you're doing uh, uh, make also your discernment and also what you are willing to do or not. If you see another Christian and you are uh, also maybe unbeliever, but you you have your own ways your own thoughts your own feelings about christianity then you are um it's it's very um normal that you reject sooner or later the other christian why you are don't living out the word of god and you have your own thoughts your own ways and then you don't like you don't like um uh the light from the other and if you understand this principle this uh, principle of light and darkness then you understand and now i want to i want a viewpoint um make the food tomorrow if you are that's let, let me say this uh john in jesus saying john 14 and 15 the world hates you why that is you are carry light and if you are a reborn Christian and the Spirit is in you and you work and live by the Word, you follow up the instructions, that is love. Your loving is not love Jesus. Your love by doing the commandments what Jesus wants for you. That's John 14, 21. And then you are, there is light through Jesus in your heart. And if you speak with somebody, he gets exposed uh, without that you quoting without that you quoting scriptures only that you speak is all uh, enough that shows the others um, feelings and heart desires that it is different about from you if you know this principle then you understand that maybe sometimes there your conversations with other people can be very hard and you think by yourself what is happening here what is happening here and then is this scripture very good and very key this i want i give you a, a couple of viewpoints so everybody can listen and can and understand and you can use this uh, particular scripture with wisdom and understanding okay i want to round it up please share and if you want uh, in show in my ministry so i can uh, 
reach out to more, more people with this message and my, the word from God. Let me know and my contact details in my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus.